Have you ever experienced that sudden jolt of panic when a bee starts buzzing a little too close for comfort? Your heart rate spikes and you instantly panic? Wondering, is it just checking me out or is it about to sting me? What you may not know is that bees aren't generally aggressive without a reason. Like many animals, they display clear behavioral cues when they feel threatened. So how do you know when a bee is just curious or ready to sting? In this video, we'll break down the warning signs, the science behind bee behavior, and what you can do to avoid provoking them. Bees are among the most social creatures on earth. A single honeybee colony can include up to 60,000 bees, all working in tightly coordinated roles. When a bee is preparing to sting, it enters a defensive state triggered by specific visual, chemical, and vibrational cues, all processed through its highly tuned nervous system and sensory organs. Bees don't usually sting right away. They typically give warning signs first. If you see a bee hovering right in front of your face, darting side to side, or circling your head, it's not just being nosy, it's evaluating you. This motion is a form of nonverbal threat assessment. A raised abdomen, a frantic wing fanning? That's the next level. These behaviors are driven by a brain chemical called octopamine, which works kind of like adrenaline in humans. It primes the bee for action, increasing wing beat speed and making that buzzing sound louder and more intense. If a bee bumps into you, or gives you what scientists call a headbutt, that's your final warning. It's not clumsy, it's deliberate. The message is simple, back off or you're likely to get stung. Bees also respond to smells, colors, and movement. Here's how to stay on their good side. Skip floral perfumes, colognes, and scented lotions. Wear light colored clothing. Dark or red can make you resemble predators like bears or skunks. Stay calm and move slowly. Fast, jerky motions are seen as threats. If you're gardening or hiking, keep your movements steady and your scents subtle. Cover food and sugary drinks outdoors. These can draw bees in quickly and increase the chance of close encounters. If a bee lands on you, stay still or gently blow it away. Sudden swats can provoke a sting. And no, bees don't smell fear, but they do react to the things we give off when we're scared, like sweat, motion, and carbon dioxide. If you are stung, remove the stinger quickly by scraping it sideways with a fingernail or credit card. Avoid squeezing, which can release more venom. Then clean the area with soap and water and apply a cold compress to reduce swelling and pain. Over-the-counter pain relievers or antihistamines can help ease discomfort, but avoid scratching the site to prevent irritation or infection. If you have a known allergy, treat it as a medical emergency and use an epinephrine auto-injector if needed. If you experience severe symptoms like difficulty breathing or swelling, seek medical attention immediately. If you're curious about why honeybees typically die after stinging, check out our video, Why Do Honeybees Die After Stinging? There's a link in the description. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Additionally, please check out our Amazon store for relevant products inspired by this episode. See you in the next video.